Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm just going to be going over some of the best ways you can get the Golden Cape Shards. So this is a new event that has started today, May 30th, and will last until June 26th. So essentially, the event, um, you're just going to want to be collecting these shards. It's very similar to the Golden Party Hat event. In fact, you can see the, uh, the Golden Cape will definitely go with uh, the Golden Party Hat. So to get it, you need the eight shards. Um, first off, you can get two of them just by setting up your Jagex account. Um, so all you have to do is hit upgrade now and it will walk you through the steps. You get two Golden Cape shards for this, so they really are pushing the Jagex accounts. But it is a really simple way to get two shards and and then you're 25% of the weight there. Um, I also got one from Premier Membership, so some people will get this, some people won't, um, but it is uh, an extra shard for people that do have it. Um, you can get a shard for completing uh, the series of new quests. So I haven't uh, quite finished them. I think I have uh, two of them left. Um, so that's something I will do to get my eight shards. Um, some of you probably already have this, um, even once the event launches you might have it if you have the quest completed um, so that's another one so right there you know just completing some quests um, jagex account that's that's three shards if you do have the premier uh, membership that's four so you can see it's pretty easy to get these shards um, i would say it might take a few hours per shard um, and you don't have to do all of them you know there's 10 tasks 11 shards to obtain um, so, you know, you can skip some, but the Jagex account is highly recommended because the two shards. Um, so for the other ones, you can see you can get them from combat, gathering, artisan skills, or support skills. So right now, um, I am doing a fire making. Um, so you can see I am doing uh, an artisan skill. So I do have a chance at getting the shard um, anytime I am getting XP from fire making. Um, and so this is a nice little AFK way to get some of the shards. You'll also notice that I do have um, my Silverhawk boots on. Um, so I am gaining some agility XP while I am fire making. And that's really the best way to get shards. You want to train multiple, uh, multiple skills at once. Um, so I am training fire making. I have the chance at getting this shard. But I'm also training uh, agility. So I have a chance at getting the support shard. So you can see how you can double up for these things. Same thing with gathering. I mean, you could do, uh, you know, any of the gathering skills while you have the Silverhawk boots on. Um, so that that is great right there. If you do have something like the Always a Days uh, Relic active. Um, so that's the relic where when you are woodcutting, you automatically burn the logs you are uh, woodcutting. Um, that again, you're... You have a chance at the gathering shard you also have a chance at the artisan shard so it is really helpful to sort of double up on these skills so you have a higher chance at getting the shards faster because on average it might take a few hours uh, it could even take up to four hours to get these shards i know when i was doing the golden party hat event some of the shards did take a while um, like the boss shard and combat shards and whatnot um, but you can see again uh, you know if you are doing combat um, you can get uh, the shard from any one of these skills, so it might be useful to toggle them all on. Uh, so you're getting XP from all of them. Um, so that, you just go to the settings, uh, gameplay, um, combat and action, and combat XP. So you can see maybe just toggle them all on um, if you want a higher chance. I'm not 100% sure that, that will work, but uh, you know it, it wouldn't hurt. Um, so that's that's how you get the combat shard and if you're you know fighting a boss you'd all obviously have the chance at that as well um, so this is only when you earn marks of war so you have to make sure that you don't hit your limit within the hour but but anyway that's another way to double up combat um, bossing you can even have some silverhawk boots on while you're doing that you have a chance at three of them so uh, really I would focus on doing the different skilling shards first um, and then, you know, last resort, maybe you want to buy the shard um, from uh, the Shady Salesman behind the Grand Exchange. If you do use that option, um, it would cost you 
uh, either 25 million gold or 10,000 protein items. So definitely just do the 25 million gold if you are doing it. Uh, still, it's it's not really an awful option. Um, it, it's something I would wait to do, you know, unless there's maybe a day left on the event. Um, and then the clue scrolls. So if you are someone that enjoys doing clue scrolls, then that's that's a good way to do it as well. Personally, I'm not a huge fan, but if you are, that's great. Uh, you know, it's another chance at getting the shard. Um, but for me, that's definitely one I'll skip. So I'm going to try and skip uh, the clue um, and buying the shard. And then I'll just get the other five. I'll probably do the quest and then I'll get them either from uh, these skilling shards and the boss shard. So, uh, you know, it's pretty easy to get the eight as long as you play a little bit throughout the the 25 26 days um, but yeah the cape will be pretty good um, right now if you go to the grand exchange um, so I'll just go here if you check the um, the golden cape you can see it's listed at 250 mil so this might be an item that you want to sell for some cash um, I could definitely see some people creating some alts to get the golden cape uh, you would need a mem member account, um, but it'll be interesting to see what the Golden Cape goes for. I know back when the Golden Party hat was a uh, was a thing, the first few were selling for you know one bill or multiple billion coins. So, you know, if you are one of the first ones to get the Golden Cape, you could definitely make some money off of it. Even though the cape was only released today, you can see that some people have actually obtained it already. Um, so about ten of them have been sold and tracked on eli.gg you can see that the price of them uh, well the first one sold for about half a billion coins or 500 million um, the most recent sold for 235 mil so you can definitely make some money off of them if you got it now you might be able to sell it for you know around 200 mil personally the plan for me i think is to get the cape fairly early um, i might uh, look at selling it uh, try and get you know 200 mil and then Possibly if it's like the Golden Party Hat event, um, the price might drop and I could buy it later at a lower price. Um, uh, but with the Golden Party Hat, I just kept it and uh, and just I still have mine just because it's a keepsake item. Um, so I definitely understand people just wanting to keep it and, uh, you know, you're a part of the event, you got it yourself. Just, just keep it and uh, have it like a relic in your bank. Um, could even use the keepsake keys on it. Uh, and uh, sport it with your golden party hat if you have that as well. You'll also notice that when you get the eight shards, you not only get the golden cape, you get three free keepsake keys. You can use that on the golden cape. Um, you got two others that you can use it on. Um, so that's that's you know a nice bonus as well. You do get some combat and skilling buffs. Um, so the rewards for that, um, first off you get the golden security buff, so it gives you a 5% chance to reduce damage taken by 99%. So that is huge for bossing throughout the event, you know, you're not only going to want to complete this event um, for the, uh, the cape, that is a huge combat buff right there. So definitely worth it. Um, you'll also get the golden consignment buff, so it provides a guaranteed porter effect, um, which transports valid items to the bank when gathered uh, while the buff is active. You'll have the option to toggle these buffs on and off, so if, you, you know, if you're going for a boss kill time, obviously you cannot have the combat buff active, the kill time won't count, um, but yeah, you know, if you're just going for GP, it's a great buff to have, um, and definitely something that will help. Um, you can see that uh, they also have a coming soon here logo timer extension. So the uh, logo timer is going to be increased. Um, right now it's five minutes, so it's it's really nice to see um, that it will be higher. Um, personally, I'd like to see maybe 10, 15 minutes, uh, but we'll see. So yeah, it is a pretty solid event and something just to keep us busy and work towards for the next month. Um, there was a ton of news out on the new skill necromancy which is essentially a new combat style so that is extremely exciting looks like we have a lot of fun stuff in store um, for runescape so uh, definitely really excited about that anyway guys i really hope you found this video helpful and if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more runescape 3 content and i'll see you all in the next one
Peace.